Hi, welcome to ClickKey, part 13 of this video series. In this session, we are going to look at Stride Table and Design Toolbar. Let's quickly jump into ClickView Desktop. So here, I have loaded a table with the country, state, city, and company as dimensions, units sold as a fact. So my intention is to create a Stride Table. So Stride Table is, is a sheet object. It is available under Charts. Let's go to Charts. This is the stride table. Click this, click on it so it gets selected. Now you can provide a window title if you want to have. So units sold would be title of the chart. And then click on next. Select company. Right. And if you want to have any label in there, you can put in there. So or else write an expression sum of unit sold and then press ok give a label to it hash units sold then finish it then you can find the total of these things I mean the uh, total of these values on the top of it so this is because if you go to expression there you can find expression total in there if you don't want total to be displayed then press ok if you want some other values than the total then in that case you can apply whether you want standard deviation or average in there or else so minimum value you can place the minimum value as well so this is how it works so assume you want to look at a share of this um, unit sold by company so in that case there is a property called relative it is very useful so you don't have to write another function to display that so i'm going to dis disable this functionality so add this so on the basis of units sold i want to find the share so you can use label within the chart to refer a particular expression here i'm doing the same thing i've written an expression under the unit sold label as sum of units sold right so okay and i want to display it as a relative share and give a label share then apply there you can see the share right so how these are not in a sort proper sorted order let's go to sort tab there you find the company let's disable by text and even the other ones as well And go to company so write an expression proper expression so I want to sort the company I mean names by unit sold value in a descending order so highest value would be in the front row so this is how you can create a stride and you can sort the values in there so there are other features which are very helpful in visualizing the data in the presentations suppose assume like uh, you don't want to display one thing but I mean one expression but you want that expression to be there so in that case you can select the expression and then you can hide it means the values will be calculated in the behind you can see that so when we'll get this so this is useful when you are applying dimension limits so dimension limits of will I mean uh, majorly function basis on the first expression value so that's about hiding and if you want total row in the first this will be enabled and if you want that totals on the last row just select the other button and you can give the label as well so if you like to display only few values then you can make that as well right so here this will not function as dimension limit so dimension limit will follow a criteria but this is this won't follow any criteria so it it will take first few values only. so you want to suppress the header row you can suppress it likewise or if you want to make the first row or as header row with i mean into two lines so you can do that okay so let's go to custom format cell 
so to enable the custom format cell you have to click on this design grid to select it and then you can find a design and a grid then go to so go to the custom format cell and select any so then it works this is how you can customize the cell background and all and uh, let's go to other properties about from this you have presentation and visual cues for setting up the colors of the text and as well as the background and uh, you have style you can change the style so you can make it clean or pajama red there are multiple uh, styles so whether you want the cell background color transparent or visible you can make that as well so and you can look at the number format as well okay and font you can change the font style and layout so you can send the values to an excel sheet from an from an object this is how and as you that you want to have the relative percentage as well then enable it you'll get the relative percentage right you can export this way or else relative percentage can be calculate another way that is sum of units sold divided by sum of units sold that is total units sold so what total will do is it will ignore the dimensional y sum and it will sum up all so in that case you will get this one so let's go to number and there let's make it a fixed dip to and written percentage then you'll get a number let's export this to excel then you can see the percentage and because we are formatting the values in the number it is working fine let's make it expression default go to expressions then use the num function to customize the number format hash hash dot hash hash percentage quotes close and then close the num function then apply okay you'll get the same output if you send it to excel you'll get the values in the number format so i mean sorry uh, in the decimal points it's better to always use a number format if you users are likely to export data into excel for doing further analysis so and that's all for today's session thanks for watching please subscribe